what a nice and beautiful day we have here at Yosemite National Park. Perhaps that's why the park is so busy today. Perhaps it's because of the firefall event that is happening tonight. I just found out about that a few minutes ago. As a strict and committed black and white photographer, I'm not here because of the sunny weather or because of the waterfall. I'm here because of what's going to happen tomorrow. A storm is coming towards us as we speak. I should reach the park later tonight and tomorrow we should have some beautiful moody weather with some rain and perhaps some snow. This is going to be my first night in this car, in the new car, with this uh, new setup. But yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed pretty early today, get some good rest, because tomorrow is going to be a big and long day. Hopefully. Okay, first things first. I need to make some coffee. The good thing about visiting Yosemite in winter time is that there's not as many people. The bad thing is that I was pretty limited about where I could go, and my recent injury made things worse. So I focused on Yosemite Valley and visited the most iconic spots like Tano View, with its classic view of the valley, one that never gets old. It's a very iconic and popular spot for a very good reason. And there's so much more to do there besides the obvious shot of the Grand Vista. While I was waiting for the worst of the weather to come, I went to Bridal Veil vale Falls, another of the most popular locations in the park. Instead of seeking solitude, which was very hard to attain, I just embraced the environment and shot even from the parking lot. But it was when I got close to the falls that I made the best compositions of this beautiful spot. When the weather started to deteriorate, I decided to head back to Tunnelview to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything incredible. I tried my luck with uh, some long exposures, trying to capture the movement of those dramatic and menacing clouds. I liked what I got, but it was when I started playing with a longer lens that I finally found the kind of images I had come to Yosemite to create. The landscape kept giving and giving, revealing and hiding parts every few seconds. It's a game of paying attention, having the patience to stay at the same spot and waiting for the right moment, when everything comes together to show exactly what's needed and nothing more. I'm just uh, stopping by random spots. I really love, love the contrast between the very beautiful, cool trees and the peaks in the distance with this kind of atmosphere. Even though the conditions were not exactly what I was hoping for, I got enough to feel like the trip had been worth it. I had some atmosphere to play with, but the time was flying. When I made it down to Yosemite Valley, I was already running out of time.
there was so much exploring to do and so little time left. I usually move fast, but this place inspired me to wait because I knew that something was about to happen somewhere around me. Man, what is this? New York? I just needed to be patient with this landscape and to keep an eye on it. is so beautiful anywhere you look at. I couldn't have asked for better weather. It didn't rain as much as I thought it was going to, but actually that was awesome because I didn't get wet. I still got some atmospheric conditions, some atmospheric uh, shots, so I'm pretty happy about that. What an incredible sight, always beautiful, but there is something about that fog that swallows, that grabs around the huge cliff. This one is probably going to be the last image of the day. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll just take the camera out the window. And so I retired to camp, satisfied with yet another amazing day of photography and some lovely images that I'll treasure for years to come. The bad weather only added to the beauty of Yosemite and made my work even more rewarding. So much that sleeping in my car in freezing temperatures feels like a small sacrifice to make. The following day was supposed to be a sunny and clear one, so my expectations for photography were pretty low. And yet, as I made my way through the valley, Yosemite delivered yet another stunning display. The full moon and some patches of fog created a magical landscape. Somehow, the moon caught me by surprise and I wasn't prepared. I scrambled to find a good spot, but I was only able to make a couple of images that did not do justice to this incredible setting. It's a cold but beautiful morning here in Yosemite National Park. The bad weather is gone and I'm afraid that my photography is over. The light is really harsh right now. I don't like these conditions for my uh, photography. So I think I'm going to call it a trip. It was way too short, but I think it was very helpful and very valuable for as a test trip for what is to come. I'm going to head back now to San Francisco. I'm going to make some adjustments in the car and then I'll be ready to hit the road again. But for now, I'm from here. That's all. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.